vampires could dance, how would they dance? Well, the creative team behind Valley of Victoria's latest production has figured that out. The company says that bloodsuckers would tango. You build these characters that are powerful, graceful, sleek, almost magical. I think for me it was the, uh, the history of tango, you know, a bit of a, you know, a dark back alley music. I needed to, like, kind of let go of the fact that I'm not in a tutu and I'm not, like, just smiling. And it's difficult sometimes to, like, try to learn a different, like, flair of artistry. But um, I think that's what makes ballet so exciting. So these are two of the 12 members of the cast of Twilight Tango. The production will feature original music performed live. And while these bloodsuckers are moving effortlessly, their muscles are actually burning. It can be exhausting to do a full-length ballet. It takes uh, a lot of stamina and uh, energy, yeah. I think uh, if you can get into the emotion of the ballet, your body can just take over. It's sort of that adrenaline rush I can imagine that runners have nearing the end of a race because it's an art form. And uh, like Rob said, we're trying to make it look easy. You actually, your body just does its job. And Twilight Tango runs Friday through Sunday at the McPherson Playhouse in Victoria. That's followed by a stop at Duncan's Cowichan Theatre on the 29th. Well, uh, North America's most famous...